Bamboo HR is an HR software to automate your onboarding and hiring process. This software allows you to set up your HR paperwork like I-9s or W-4s, allow you to add benefit plans and track everything within one HR system. In this video, we're gonna go over the implementation, which is how you actually get access to the software, negotiating costs, all that stuff. And then we're gonna go into the interface, so how, how to utilize it, how to change some settings, and then we're gonna go into how to add members, and then also how to add job postings. If you're new here, my name is Liz, I'm a data science manager at Intel, but on the side, I like to film these kind of videos talking about different software products that I stumble upon as I do side consulting and review other stuff for work and outside of work. So here we have an example of what your Bamboo HR system will look like. So I'm actually doing consulting work. So I set this up for a company, not my company. And so I had to go through and purchase the software. Now, what you have to do is you have to get with a sales rep at Bamboo and negotiate how much you're gonna pay per month. And then also, are you going to add in an implementation fee where they will basically have you work with somebody to implement everything together. So you don't have to have that, but I would recommend it now that I've been through the process. But essentially I paid around $9 per member. You do get a discount if you have a, like a bunch of members. So if you have 30 or plus, I would ask if they have a discount for multiple members. I also would wait until the end of the quarter to purchase the software because you can get a deal. Now that's just like general knowledge and software business world because my sister works in software sales. So I kind of know some of the tricks. Wait till the end of the quarter because all the sales reps work on commission. So they're like account executives. And so they will make deals with you. So I was able to get um, a discount on the implementation. So instead of paying like $2,000, to do the implementation, I paid like a thousand. So just keep that in mind if you are purchasing software in the future on behalf of a company. <laughs> but what we have here is the actual implementation. So it, see, it says right here, continue implementation. So when you click this and you have basically paid for the implementation, you will be assigned a project manager and they will help walk you through exactly how to add the basic information, add time off, benefits hiring, and then you will graduate. So there's these nice little steps where it says, hey, gather this conversation, uh, gather this information before your next call. And you basically follow along. And then once you've completed it, you just mark it as complete or not. So it's super easy to follow. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Bamboo, it's basically just a data source for all your information on the people who are working with you. So if we go to my information, you'll see a picture of me and then you'll have basically personal job, emergency contacts, notes, trainings, benefits, onboarding, offboarding, all this stuff built in. And when you post a job on here, you can link it to Indeed. There's a bunch of really cool features. So essentially this is the software that's being sold to you in order to basically make your HR system super smooth. Now all the customization is actually in this like little gear up here. So if you click this gear, all your customization, customization for your account will be on this left hand bar. So you can add, you know, a logo, you can change the color, you can go in here and add different benefit plans. So if you have, you know, um, a, a different medical plans that you have employees on, there's also embedded videos, you can change onboarding tasks. So you could say, okay, I need these X tasks complete before onboarding. So there's a ton of different stuff within here. And then one of the most important ones is the access levels. As you can see, there's me and, and then my business partner, Max. So you can see like I could even go to employees and I have, they have this like panda bear just so you can play around with it. And you can view as the person. So as, as if I'm panda. So you can preview what it would look like if I just had his permissions. And so you can add people in different permissions. You can give managers a little bit more access to some of the information. You can add templates and hiring. You even, when I go to my information and I go, I can download I-9 and W-4 forms and then upload them as if I'm an employee. So then you can have automatically signed documents. You can even, they even have an app on your phone so you can sign it on your phone. So it's, it's basically like automating this whole process, making it super streamlined. There's all kinds of stuff where you can say, you know, 
when someone uploads a document, notify me, just really cool stuff within this software. When you need to add a new employee, you can basically just press new and then new employee. You can also do a report. Um, we can go over that in a little bit, but employees are basically, you can add somebody if they're hired. Now, the cool thing is if you actually do um, a job application through the hiring and add a job opening, you can link that to Indeed. So if someone gets hired on Indeed, all that information get, can get automatically pulled into Bamboo so you don't have to do a bunch of data manual entry. Now, when you first start and you have a bunch of employees, you will do like a data migration. So don't worry about entering like 100 employees' names. Um, that's all taken care of in this implementation section. Now, like I said before, you can add a job opening within Bamboo and link it to Indeed. So essentially you press that add job opening, scroll down and you'll notice there's an Indeed slash glass door and it will link it to Indeed and glass door. So when somebody signs up over there, it, they will be connected. So that's really cool because then you can pull in all that information and you don't actually have to, you know, go through Indeed and then get on here and then type in all the information when it's already there. And there's all kinds of options. You can just post it on here and track it in, in Bamboo. So it's, it's very, very cool that you can get rid of a lot of that manual data entry. Now there are all kinds of reports you can run as well. So in this reporting tab, you can have like, here's all the birthdays, you can have a gender profile, you could do a head count. You can even do like a burn rate, like how many, what's the turnover, you know? Um, you can look at missing data, um, employee turnover, stuff like that. So it's really cool. You can run these reports just to see a little bit more data on your employees and what's going on within your company. In the files tab, you also have these i9 and w4s. Now these are the basic ones that they add, but you could do customized signature templates. So you can make your own and then they can download it and then upload, re-upload it to Bamboo and then you have all your information. So it's pretty customizable and it's very cool to work with. And you can see all the buttons are pretty straightforward you know everything's pretty intuitive there's not a lot of like scary features on here um, especially when you have full admin control you basically are you are mainly in the settings page and then also in these these upper hand like ribbon tabs now I do want to expand a little bit on the automation piece of bamboo so we briefly went over kind of how to use it how to click around what it's useful for what does it actually look like on the inside but as far as automation goes, you have two options. You can use Zapier or you can use make.com. I like to use a combination of both and then see which ones um, it has and does not have. So if you go to Zapier, you can actually go and type in Bamboo HR and you'll notice this pops up and you can connect it to another app. Like let's say you wanna connect it to Outlook or something. So if I click these two, here's the triggers. You could say, oh, new employee started and then you could send them an email, you know, create a contact, find a contact, update a contact, create an event. Maybe you want to create an event when somebody's added and you want to make a happy hour, you know, so there's kind of some cool stuff you can do. You can also do it backwards. So you can do um, when I send an email, do something in bamboo. So if you go in here, you could say create an employee when I send this person an email. Um, you can upload a file. There's all kinds of like triggers and stuff. And this is not just for Outlook. You can do any application that you think needs to talk to Bamboo. You can also do this in make.com as well. Um, make.com, you can have two free ones. Zapier, I think you can have five, but make.com is cheaper in the long run. So just keep that in mind. But you can go ahead and make a new scenario and then click this plus, type in Bamboo. And then you'll see all these stuff, list employees, update employee, delete. So see how there's a little bit more options here. Um, so it's kind of cool. You can update employee file, all the stuff. You can even do a custom API call if you're that advanced, but none of us are really getting that level yet. So, and then you can connect it to um, another app as well. So it works very similarly. I just want you guys to know that there are automations that you can add with Bamboo because Bamboo is it has their API and it's it's in some of these services. So that is basically what Bamboo is for. You've got, you know, a person, you can track their personal stuff, their job, emergency contacts, trainings, onboarding, offboarding, setting up templates, adding tasks, all kinds of stuff. It's basically just to track everyone within your company. Now, as I mentioned before, I did talk a little bit about Zapier and make.com. Now I do have two videos on those separately, reviewing them and then showing you how to set 
an example of a scenario or a zap. They, they're the same thing, but they, they call them differently. So I will link those up here and below. So feel free to check those out. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.